Hey everybody, thank you for watching Aim for Survival. Today we're going to show you a directional twitch up snare, so stay tuned. Okay guys, this project's real simple. All I really needed was a knife, however, an axe. A small folding saw made life a lot easier. Again, you could always go back and use your knife. The SE6 would be a great option as it's big enough to chop, but also sturdy enough and delicate enough at the same time to do fine task work. Now, I'm gonna show you the materials, how we process them, and get started. So for this trap, it's real simple. You need two stakes. We had chamfered the end of this one, sharpened the end of that one, and made a very distinct L7 notch on this one. Again, just a closer look, a good L7 stake. You need two of those. Next, we need our trigger bar. This one's very similar to our platform snare. However, on this one, we do have a flat spot on one side, a 90 degree flat spot on the face of it. And again, repeating this over here. Now again, this is a directional trap, so you will have to mask the back and sides of it. Okay, next we're gonna need some paracord. Got some bright orange paracord. And again, all these components are oversized, so they're easy to see. And we need a spring pole. We've taken the leaves off of this, so it's more aerodynamic. Using a clove hitch, we've attached this to the sapling. And again, using just a little bit of paracord. You could do this with one piece, however, we're gonna do it with two pieces, just to make it a little simpler. So with our game trail located, we know the animal is either heading this way or that way. So we may want to step off the trail for this. However, for this video, we're just going to do this from your view. And again, this is a, a directional snare. Very simple, very repeatable. You don't have to make anything too perfect. I definitely like to point out though, that you do want these to be level with each other. So, Making your tent stakes approximately the same size will help. Okay, so using the axe, we can tell that they are about level. And again, we do have two 90 degree surfaces on here. Where this is gonna come in handy is locking into these L7s that we've created. So at this point, we do have a double-sided L7 trigger mechanism. We we'll to make sure it can hold the pressure. Next, we're gonna tie our spring pole cordage to the trigger mechanism. It's easier to do this when it's not under tension. And we're gonna use a clove hitch again as well. Okay, and again, we're gonna use a clove hitch and we're gonna do it while it's not under tension. And again, this is the knot that creates an X upon itself. Once you have that X, you feed the line through it. And the reason why this is important is mostly it's just efficiency. You don't want to be wasting a bunch of cordage tying a whatever knot. And again, it's sturdy and you can quickly release it and recover your cordage later. Coming back down to our stakes with the L7s, we're going to test that our trigger mechanism is sensitive enough and it is. Again, make sure you protect your eyes at this point. Make sure any accidental triggering doesn't catch you in the eye with any of these sharp edges so now we need to attach our snare and again we could have done this with one piece of cord no big deal however I wanted to be able to show you this again I'm using a sliding knot to snare with way it doesn't come undone near as easy however you want it to be a little loose so that it will lock down on the animal's neck or leg or torso and get a good little bite again once it tightens, it won't come undone. We could have done this all with a clove hitch, just inserted the, the pole, and again, no big deal. However, I wanted two different pieces for this to show you. I was gonna choose do two different colors. However, we did have the orange available, so we're gonna use it instead. Real quick, I'd like to go ahead and remind everybody that all primitive traps are illegal. Use this only in an emergency situation. Also be prepared to dispatch the animal, whether it's a 22 shot to the head or a quick pop to the noggin. 
always be prepared for the game to still be alive make sure you trip check your traps often make sure you disassemble them if you're not going to use them and again guys let's get back to the video so at this point you're pretty well done setting this trap you would have to bait it again using a bait stick possibly baiting the cord itself again i'm keeping my hand here just in case it fires off it don't hit me in the face again if you notice my head is off to the side so i'm less likely to catch it in the face now at this point you want your loop and again this is an exaggerated model just so that you can see it but you want your snare low to the ground about two fingers from the ground most animals travel with their head down in a scurrying motion as they sniff and seek uh, the lowest and easiest path but also looking for little easy trail bites now at this point you can spread this out you could lock it in with Y sticks down here definitely put you a bait stick right here in the middle again peanut butter works really really well for this but you don't want it no bigger than it has to be so in this case I'm going to bring the loop right about here if I had to I could put it even further forward okay at this point we want our snare loop to hang freely about right here so what we're going to do take a small green sapling sharpen both ends drive it into the ground this one just broke but it's no big deal its only job is to hold this snare as far away from the trap as possible while still maintaining two finger links off the ground at this point you definitely want to funnel the animal into this area so the only way he can travel is through here make sure no debris is in his way if you want to clear him off a little path here it'll work even better but again for this example we won't worry about it too much the animal will come approaching from this direction come through and boom he's gone so again the animal would come in through this area come through get his head stuck and he's out of there Again, two L7 stakes, uh, trigger bar that has right angles on both sides. Again, this is a directional trap, so both these L7s face the same direction. Again, just a quick tip, you could always use a branch, this one here, in a bow shape. If it breaks, it's all right. It's just there to support it. But the animal will come in from this direction, get snared. Well, there you have it, everybody. That's your single directional twitch up snare again this is really good for box sets it's really good if you're flushing animals from one area into another and you can predict what direction they will be heading you can use this ambush style but again you could use it in a closed off box set again you only want the animal going in one direction use bait sign lure scent whatever you can do to up your game will help again be prepared to dispatch the animal when you get there make sure you check your traps often Make sure you set multiple traps. It is a numbers game. And get out there and practice, practice, practice. Guys, I appreciate everything you've done for the channel. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Comment down below. Subscribe. And as always, when you watch A for Survival, don't miss.